Good morning, everybody. Today is is first April two thousand twenty-one. Today we are working with the legends in Ecuador. Okay, let's go to pay attention. We have a lot of legends in Ecuador, but the most common legends or the more known legends here in Ecuador are a uh, Cantuña, La Dama Tapada, and we have another one that is uh, Umiña. Preste atención. The goddess Umiña was considered the goddess of the health from the Manteña culture. La diosa Umiña fue considerada la diosa de la salud de la cultura Manteña. It Umiña was the daughter of a she obtained and her mother was well now as much loved healer and the priest. When she was young, her mother mysteriously died. Uminia to her mother place and quickly became beloved by the people for her healing abilities. After a year had passed, the chieftain remained to a local woman suspect of being can guess her is it going. She was a witch. She was a jealous of Uminia's fame and a castle and a span of combating him that Uminia must he put to death. They tied her to wrap sail for three days into the ocean and then left her there with no food or no water. Uminia arrived on shore three days later, still bewitched. Her father decreed she was by taken to the tallest man, tied there to die of exposure. This time she appeared three months later, having been rescued by a giant town resourcing attentively her father had come to his sense. He cast out the wit and took Uminia happy ending right. He she is Uminia. She is Uminia, the goddess of the health, la diosa de la salud. And then we have Cantuña, look. This is Cantuña legend. You know what is Cantuña? We have so here San Francisco Church, okay, and Cantuña. Cantuña was a very famous legend in Quito, capital of Ecuador. He was a very famous Indian in a colonial time because he was a direct descent of the great warrior Ruminawi. The Indian called Cantuña had much power over other Indians in the region. Taking advantage of this, he promised to build a beautiful and large atrium to the Church of San Francisco. His committed to the church was doing in six months. Otherwise, he will not change anything. The work was not easy. When the delivery time of the work was nearly in completion, Cantonia was an offerer to provide whatever could help him to end the atrium, which was just started. This offering reached the heirs of the devil, taking advantage of the situation and introduced himself to the end to the court that night. As long as Cantonia gave his soul as payment, Cantonia accepted and those little devils become working and darkness fell on the city. Cantonia suddenly realized how fast they work and that his soul would be founded to suffer punishment, eternity. So he decided to challenge the devil. Cantonia went to the corner and took a stone. It wrote who take the stone and put it in place. We recognize that it is only one God and he is above all the universe. When the court was about to finish, the devil went to the put the last stone, but to read what it is, could not do it again, broke his covenant. Cantuña kept the rock forever, and no one was able to complete the work. If you ever visit the Plaza of San Francisco, look what the sites were the famous stone missing. Look, this is the Cantuña, okay? And finally, La Dama Tapada. Okay, you look. La Dama Tapada appears as a popular belief about the year in 1700 in the city of Guayaquil. This legend tells the story of a lady who appeared around the midnight, but only appeared to the oldest 
outer date, sorry, let me see, drones of the old cemetery Boca del Pozo, the lower church of Santo Domingo in the city of Guayaquil. This young woman wearing only chasing fill a their ring between this beautiful costume, a elegant black dress, and a very nice time bill covering her face, which is known allowed to be recognized by their victims. Legend has that the lady exuded his environment a peculiar fragrance, or lilies and violets, and this exciting way, making them into a trend of hypnotism, leaving and forcing them to follow her. But this character is not allowed to get close one meter. Womanizer shocked by the beautiful portions without realizing what place they were going reaching the general cemetery, place where the lady was about to discover her face, saying these words, you know me as I am, no one's to follow me. In moments, her beautiful face was breaking out to be a school from which follow all others. Since these victims died and some were impacted by the shock, others by the stench, but very few survived those who were ranked by the popular culture as rascal. She then appeared in this way was they why to go? This is the La Dama Tapada. Look, okay. She's beautiful, but then she became to the school. Como una calavera, okay. So let me pause the video. Okay, now please let's go to pieces. And the code is. Rico, tengo hambre. Is this? Tengo hambre. <laughs> Profe, podemos, po, profe, podemos Dana poner Dana is the pozum of, of María Angula. <laughs> la Dana. Profe, sí. Nos podemos poner, nos podemos poner <laughs> el nombre. No, el, su nombre verdadero. Ah, eh, yo me voy a poner el nombre verdadero, pero con alguna modificación. Uy, ¿quién será Mr. Kigo? Voy a decir Mr. Kigo y le voy a poner doble C. Es del, es del, es del, 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 del David. No podemos poner los nombres de leyendas. No. Póngase su nombre porque le va a llevar puntos extras. Los 10 primeros, profe, tres puntos extras. El... Profe, yo cuando ya pongo el código se entra de uno. No, tengo no, para no se me irá a poder variangula porque ahí sí. Hay que de, eh, de ir de noche y le de decir, póngase profe, su nombre real. Estoy soñando. <ríe> ok, I have 12 students. Profe, va a ganar, voy a ganar yo. Y si no ganas, ¿por qué? Te... Las, las anteriores veces. En esta clase, no sé, no me acuerdo. Por eso a mí me daba miedo siempre que yo, de pequeña, me contaron ese de María Angula y siempre me daba miedo comer tripas. No, fue De más miedo es el duende. Profe, no, vea mi nombre. Yo me he visto el duende de noche, la nueva que salió de noche. De... Vamos, ya inició. Ya, vamos, vamos, vamos. vamos. Okay. Selecciona las leyendas. Verá que aquí tiene dos opciones: la llorona, el gato con botas, el chupacabra, esta perucita roja o las momias de Guanajuato. Las Digo, le las leyendas profe, son... diga que son tres respuestas en una. Solo son Pensé dos. que era una. No, no, en una de esas, en, una, en una hay tres. Las leyendas son historias que cuentan fábulas, dejan enseñanzas, narran hechos extraordinarios. Las leyendas se transmiten de generación en generación, oralmente, por mensajes o por libros. ¿Cómo están narradas las leyendas? Futuro, pasado o presente. Las leyendas no pueden tener personajes fantásticos como fantasmas, brujas, magos, cierto o falso. Selecciona una okay, de las que giran en torno vale. a la leyenda. Selecciona las leyendas y hay todo, todo. Solo dos, leyendas. solo son dos. Un personaje, un lugar, un acontecimiento. La leyenda puede basarse en hechos reales que se van modificando a través del tiempo, ¿cierto o falso? La leyenda es un relato de origen real, creación lírica, representación de una problemática en el teatro. Son características de las leyendas. A tradición oral, se presenta en prosa, o Solo narra hechos reales y presenta inicio, desarrollo y desenlace. 
Son elementos de las leyendas del narrador, personaje, tiempo, lector. Son narraciones de historias extraordinarias y fantásticas con elementos reales, los cuentos, las fábulas, las, no, las novelas o las leyendas. Ok, continue to playing and I close the class. Bye bye everyone. Bye bye. No se olvide de hacer su leyenda favorita o la leyenda que usted quiera en el cuaderno y me sube al drive. Bye bye everyone. Bye bye. See you. Bye teacher. No, profe, ya me puedo salir. Profe, a este paso voy a quedar último.